All right, so basically, uh, you can take a real close look at this. This is uh, standing waves. And what we have, obviously, is a little wave there and it's a low pump. frequency. It was, it's on like page six. It looks like page six. It do, in the book. Don't it? Look like page six. Okay. Okay. Now, we have uh, about 45 hertz, which is well in the range of human hearing. So if everybody's quiet, you can hear it. But if you put your, your hand on this table, you're really going to feel it more. And that's what really low frequency <laughs> subwoofers do. I mean, not much really kicks in below 50 hertz. Now I'm going to start cranking it up and getting to a higher and higher frequency. <laughs> and as I change the frequency, we have what are called standing waves. They're like waves on the water that are still. And they're meeting each other in all these funky patterns. I'll keep it at the same frequency for a minute. <laughs> wow, that looks hard though. It is hard. Now this is 60 hertz. 60 hertz is a special frequency because this is the sound that electricity makes. We're going to be talking about this later. Wow. But yeah, refrigerators, yeah. big uh, equipment, it always makes this hum. Lights make this hum. It's basically all around us. I see red in my angle. Right it's in the corner. You see that red? Now the pattern has changed, right? You see that? Mm -hmm. It's like ice. Now they're sort of reforming. <laughs> Please don't knock the camera. You see a red? Is it lower frequencies? Man, that was really loud, okay. And this this really depends on how much water there is as well. Just what we're doing is finding the resonant frequency of the amount of water. Oh, that's all. It's all. It's not for me. Oh. It's like raindrops are sitting in yeah. invisible raindrops. That's the other one. Obviously, if we lower the uh, amplitude, the amount of power. <laughs> really, it's not painful, but it hurts. That's what Bill Nye the Science Guy would say.